When a liquid changes into a gas gradually, like a puddle drying on a warm day, it's called evaporation. When it happens more rapidly like this, we say the liquid is boiling. The particles in a liquid tumble over each other, heat it up and eventually the particles have enough energy to escape. The liquid breaks up and becomes a gas. In a gas, the particles move as far away as possible from each other. Gases take up far more space than a liquid. In fact, one litre of liquid water expands to fill 1,700 litres as a gas. So, what makes popcorn pop? Tiny amounts of liquid water trapped in each kernel suddenly expand. It changes from a liquid to a gas and makes the corn explode. A thermometer in a beaker of vigorously boiling water reaches 100 degrees Celsius. This temperature is known as its boiling point. However hard you heat the liquid, it won't get any hotter. But not everything boils at the same temperature. This is margarine. It boils at around 120 degrees Celsius. Again, the temperature won't get any higher. Liquid nitrogen boils at a much cooler temperature. Even on a tray of ice, it boils and quickly disappears. The opposite of boiling is condensing. This balloon is full of air. Plunge it into liquid nitrogen and firstly the rubber freezes, it becomes crispy. But what's happened to the gas inside? The air has changed from a gas to a liquid. You can see it collecting in the bottom of the balloon. The invisible gas has become a visible liquid. That's what happens when you breathe onto a cold piece of glass. The invisible gaseous water particles in your breath become a visible liquid.